Spawning down in the bottom left hand position of Frost, representing Alien Invasion, it is CPU. And his opponent down in the bottom right, representing my insanity, the teal Protoss, it's Wilco. So, this is a good time. Mr. Pink King, a little bit confused there. This is definitely the quarter final of the cup so far, which is always good times. Um, in terms of how these two have got here, I'm going to take a little peek at the bracket while they go about their normal stuff. No one's going for anything too cheesy or some kind of crazy proxy 2 gate on this map. But, but take a quick look. Um, okay, CPU build Storm, Rax, Zing, and um, Horus. Meanwhile, Wilco was able to take down Ascending, uh, Tonefen, and Zapek. So, pretty cool times there. Okay, so, what else is going to be coming down here? We will wait and see. Um, but yeah, generally things look pretty safe. Early gas coming down actually here from CPU. That is considerably earlier than that of Wilco's, in terms of PvP anyway, like 10 seconds and earlier gas. But Wilco compensating for that by grabbing a second gas out. Big things to be looking for in a PvP are how many get how many probes are in gas early on. If it's two or three in one gas and only one gas, generally it's a pretty standard play. Maybe two gates, not rushing up too much. Going to be trying to expand. Three probes in each gas. Hey, they're going to be going for some tech and it's going to be coming out fast. So a one base play trying to deal a lot of damage. Frost though is a bigger map, so generally speaking, you're going to see a more macro orientated play. Both players opting for four probes and gas at the moment, so not going to be rushing anything as of yet. Just scouting out with a couple of probes and generally having a bit of a good time. In terms of anything else that we're seeing, there really isn't too much to discuss. Just waiting to see if there's going to be anything too crazy. Wilco opting for that second gateway now. Uh, the second gateway is actually a really good decision. It's a smart move to make, especially with this sort of opening, because you get yourself a decent number of units out. And on a map like Frost, you're able to defend against a lot of pressure plays without having to commit too many resources. You can tech up nicely and expand off it. You can also pressure a little bit with two gates if you so wish. If you go uh, two stalkers out of both of them, it can be quite nice. CPU opting for that Twilight Council. So he's going to be the first one to show his tech. Meanwhile, Wilco not giving away anything for the moment. Just instead adding in another pylon and his mothership course. So... Probably going to see an earlier expansion out of Wilco, unless he adds in some tech very quickly. He's up to six probes of gas, so he should see some form of tech fairly soon. Second gates finishing up for both of them. Wilco pumping out some more stalkers. And yeah, this is all looking pretty, pretty safe and pretty steady. Trying to keep a good little eye on anything else that we may have. And no, just going to get blink coming down from CPU here. So that just is a bit of a guidance that... It's not going to be DTs, obviously, but not too much of a giveaway other than that. We'll come adding in a third gate now. Three gates does actually pump out a lot of units, and will help him defend against most things. But without any tech, I'm very interested to see where he's spending his gas, because he isn't actually spending that gas on any sentries or anything. He's already banked up 230, 240 gas straight away, so that's quite interesting. Stalker getting pushed back by CPU, so I can take a little bit of HP damage, which is never something you want. Blink is about a quarter done. Could do with being a bit further. <laughs> if, of course, CPU had his way of finish instantly. And there we go. Wilco now going to be spending that gas. Getting down a Stargate. This Stargate has a couple of different ways to go about utilizing it. Up against Blink Stalkers, most likely you're going to want to get yourself uh, a couple of Void Rays. But Blink Stalkers are good against Stargates anyway. Unfortunately for Wilco there, he lost a Stalker or two. And I think actually in trades... Uh, actually, no, that was a dead trade for both of them. So, relatively equal. Both being left... Currently, uh, with a similar stalk account. Wilco needs to be careful though. His mothership core taking significant damages is going to get taken down. That is a big loss for Wilco. And in a PvP, losing your mothership core can almost be game breaking. So, up now comes a handful of these stalkers. They're going to be trying to find a nice little avenue of attack. Wilco does have more due to having that third gateway's worth of production that the CPU has just added in now. Blink is about to kick in as well for CPU, but he's going to have to contend with an Oracle shortly, as it has started in production. Wilco doesn't know about Blink yet, he hasn't scouted the Twilight Council, and he's getting a fourth gateway added in from CPU. That fourth gate is really going to help him 
I'll produce Gorko, and with the aid of Bling for enhanced micro capability of these stalkers, it'd be pretty good for him. CPU just checking to make sure there's no natural expansion. Of course, Wilco knows there isn't because he's already there. The Oracle not going to fare too well against Bling Stalkers because they can blink straight underneath it and snipe it out, especially with this many of them. So it's really got to hit with an element of surprise. Wilco most likely going to try and bait these Stalkers down. Do get the blink out of them. But as a result, Wilco is losing a significant number of Stalkers. The Oracle will come in though. This should rack up a fair few probe kills. But I'm not sure if it's going to compensate for just the sheer number of Stalkers that he lost already. Blink comes underneath that Oracle just as expected. Did manage to rack up 7 worker kills. So 23 workers to 17. But Wilco, without doubt now, is hugely behind in the stalker count. 15 to 11. And Blink as well for CPU. I'm not sure that was worth it. He's going to have a very tough time trying to defend against these Blink stalkers now. Bowden Overcharge will certainly help. He's trying to get his own Blink down as fast as possible. But there's also 4 gateways worth of production here for CPU. And he has... Well, he hasn't got much of a bank. He is warping in quite steadily. Just waiting to see what's going to be going. Of course, Jonah is a high-level player from EU, thinking that a second Oracle should have been hidden to give him a bit of a better chance. But now, CPU coming up. He should target down the pylons pretty quickly. If those two pylons go down, it would mean that Blink obviously stops being researched and these two, or at least one of the gateways, will be then depowered. Bowden Overcharge now being used. These stalkers being blinked away to safety. Blink for Wilco. About half done now. It's incredibly tough for him to try and level this out just because the stalker count is so in favour of CPU and he's got that higher micro potential with those stalkers thanks to Blink. So Wilco has to at very least not die or not lose a critical number of stalkers before Blink is finished. Ideally, not trading. The phone overcharge has bought him time. Smart move by CPU getting a dark shrine behind this. And Wilco, oh, missteps, walks down the ramp, loses two stalkers. And that's the sort of thing I was talking about. He doesn't want to be giving away units for free when he has far less stalkers anyway. Wilco is now contained pretty heavily and isn't adding in any kind of detection. His Oracle is taken down. He's not getting a second one. The Pylon yet again is going to get taken down and it's safe for these stalkers to move up here because they can relatively safely blink away. The Mothership Core doesn't go down, does get fairly low though of Wilco, so he's got to be careful with those. More Warpins coming down from both sides, but once this Dark Shrine is finished, if we don't see some kind of detection come out shortly, I think that very well may be GG. The work count leveling out somewhat. Wilco being very aggressive there is going to lose a couple of stalkers because of that though. So though does CPU lose a couple, but it's now 16 stalkers to 9. The Dark Shrine is about 15 seconds away from completion. Interestingly, CPU not opting to put a pile on here, and I say that's interesting because it makes his warp in distance just a little bit further. DTs are going to be able to absolutely wreck Wilco now. Um, there's no easy way to say that. He's just got absolutely no detection at all. An Oracle would take a long time to get out. So much damage could be done before then. Just the one Dark Templar moving up in towards the main now. Um, one Dark Templar without detection can do an awful lot. The DT now heading straight in. Still no sign of an Oracle getting started. GG call the second the DT is seen. And that means CPU takes map number one of this best of three.